Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, we're going to have a look at something special, a portable off-grid wind turbine that you can use to charge your power bank and devices while you're outdoors. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It will really help the channel out. Thanks. Most people are familiar with portable solar panels as a power source when they are outdoors. This was designed to be a complement to solar power so that you have the ability to charge your devices day and night regardless of the availability of strong sunlight. Of course, you will need strong winds to generate the speed required to charge your gear. This is the Tex Energy Infinite Air 5T, the latest version of their smallest wind turbine. It was designed for campers, explorers and adventurers on expeditions. As I understand it, there's no other wind turbine with this functionality that packs down this small and is this lightweight. Let's check out the box. So this is the packaging that the Tex Energy Infinite Air 5T comes in. There's the product. 5 minutes assembly time, no tools required, 360 degree rotating head, a unique safety blade technology, lightweight and high strength. And over here, you have all the various components in the box, which I'll show you in just a bit. And over here, we've got some features and specifications of the entire unit. So it's 1.65 kg, so pretty lightweight for a wind turbine of this nature. And here are all the items that you can charge. And I believe I'll show you another product brochure inside as well. So we open up this box. And here we do have that mentioned product brochure. So that's how the device looks when it's set up. And you can connect it to a power bank. And basically this introduces you to the products, the various parts of the device. And basically how you put it together and uh, where you can use it, I believe, all the different applications and how it's being used and uh, what you can use it for, whether it's for larger power banks or for your own mobile devices. So here are all the things that you could charge with it from your power bank, camera, tablet, smartphone, all the way to your headlamp. So really designed for the outdoor person. All right. Let's have a look at the product itself. It comes in this nice case over here. So it's a zippered case. It's a hard shell case, clam style. Uh, no straps, but there is a single handle over here, which is basically a nylon strap with a rubber grip. And it's got zippers on both sides, which will open just like that. And here we have everything inside. Got the user guide, which are instructions on how to set this up. And this is definitely something you want to practice and learn uh, when you have it at home before you actually go out on the expedition or the camp. Now inside we've got a variety of items, you can see it's got this foam padding all cut out for the different items to be put inside. So very nicely made, uh, very nicely thought out in terms of packaging it and if it's being shipped to you, this protects uh, the device as well. So let's go through each of these items, I've got a bunch of uh, cables and stuff over here, we'll get to this later on. Let's start off with this nylon pouch over here. So this contains the legs. And I believe everything you need basically set up the tripod. So there are plastic spikes for you to put it into soft ground. Uh, and each leg component comes with a unit like that. So the way you put it in is to fit that in just like that. This spike, well, let's put this aside first. This spike would actually go in and you tighten it here. So that goes in and this goes here. Now the thing is, uh, the way this fits together, is, it fits just like that and later this would fit into this base plate over here or flang. So this flang attaches to the turbine unit but you would actually fit this in somewhat 
I believe this way, like that, right? So you set up all three tripod legs and put them in, and then later you would strap them all together using this ratchet strap. So that goes around the three legs and that holds all the legs together and everything is just a friction fit. And personally, when I was setting this up and using this, uh, I did have a bit of difficulty. I, I did find this, you know, it falls apart, especially if you try to move it after you've set it up. And even in the setup process, uh, maybe it gets better over time with practice. But personally, I would have preferred if they would have threaded this. So you could just thread that in and lock that in place. Uh, and same with here. If you just add threads, everything would just hold in place uh, much more securely rather than just a friction fit. But in any case, you would set up three legs like that and fit everything in to form that tripod base and then you'd strap it all together. Then you'd take out the wind turbine. Let's grab that out over here. Okay. So here we have the main wind turbine motor and here's the cable that would run down through this hole over here, which is the flank. So that runs down the legs or the center of the wind turbine. And what you need to do is to add the blades. So the blades are over here. Let's take them out. So the blades are made of high impact plastic. This is the safety feature, this yellow part here, this is uh, silicone, so it's soft. So even if it spins and you accidentally put your hand inside or brush against uh, the turbine, uh, you aren't gonna cut yourself. So that's a nice feature as well. And I think that high visibility yellow is also pretty good uh, so that you can always see the blade spinning uh, even after you set it up. So. What you need to do is just unscrew this front over here. So that's all threaded. And then you'd place the blades inside just like that. So it only fits one way. You can't fit it uh, the other way. You have to fit it so that the right part of the front faces uh, the front or the right side of the blade faces the front. And that's facilitated by this slight cut out if you can see or that groove a protrusion not a groove but a, a protrusion over there which slides in to uh, this section of the aluminum so once you've got all that in you can screw that back on and I believe you just do that by hand tightening it because I don't think there are any tools required and once you get that on, you have that all ready. And this spins this way, but it also turns like a, this gyroscope over here. And there's a reason for that, because uh, this particular model has a tail fin. So this tail fin would attach, I believe, over here. And there is a cotter pin or just a safety pin and you line up the holes and fit that inside let's do that just like that so this ensures regardless of the direction of the wind uh, the turbine would actually turn accordingly uh, so you'd always be catching the wind and you're getting maximum uh, wind speed to generate that power now let's see uh, what else you get now besides that unit inside, you do get some cables. Uh, this is for you to plug in into your different devices. So I believe this is a splitter cable. Yep. And uh, you also get some guidelines. Okay, so these guidelines are to secure the unit after you set it up. Now, in my case, in my initial field test, uh, I didn't have to use uh, the guidelines and the pegs that come with it. These are the really ultra lightweight aluminum pegs uh, that you'd see for you know building shelters and such or for tents uh, because I was testing it at the beach so 
you know, I was in the soft sand. I could really uh, put this in and was really secure. Uh, but it's great that all this is supplied. Uh, this is paracord, well, not really paracord. Uh, without actually cutting it to see how many strands that are inside it's a bit thin uh out my guess it, these are five strand paracords um should be strong enough i think but uh personally i prefer seven strands so might change that up if needed and that's everything that's inside this case once the wind turbine is set up and secured it will spin once there's enough wind However, you do need substantial constant wind to be able to charge your portable devices. While the turbine will spin if the wind is strong enough, it requires about wind speeds of 12 km per hour or 8 miles per hour in order to generate the 5 volts and 1 amp of electricity required to charge common electronic devices. In my initial test run on the beach, the wind speed was strong enough to generate the 5 volts, but not the 1 amp needed to charge a device, and you can see that on my voltmeter reading. The wind speeds did get stronger later in the day, but I had already packed up the turbine for the initial test. So if you're going to use the Infinite Air 5T, you need locations that have strong enough wind speeds. Suitable locations include by the ocean or in the ocean if you're on a boat, rooftops of buildings or structures, high up in the mountains, large open fields where wind blows through strongly, and of course, in extreme conditions such as the Arctic. If you are camping in a location that's lots of wind, but limited sunlight, a solar panel will give you limited charging time. Plus, you have to charge only during the day when there's sunlight, when you're likely to be on the move. With the portable wind turbine, you can charge your power bank overnight while you sleep. Or if you really want maximum power generating capabilities, you can connect this portable wind turbine with a solar panel system and a portable power station to create an autonomous power station. As a hiker or camper, I would repack the wind turbine into another kit bag to fit my pack system. If you're hiking and not traveling by a vehicle like a van or RV, then this case and the way this is packed may not be the best way to carry the wind turbine as it is not space efficient. I would also want to be able to secure this entire kit to my pack without necessarily putting it into my pack as I honestly don't have the space. I'll share my hiking pack system for the Infinite Air 5T in another video soon. The price of this wind turbine is US $295 and is available at TexEnergy.com. Check out the link in the description below. Tex Energy is currently having a Black Friday week sale that is running now all the way to Tuesday 29th of November. They are offering the ultimate portable off-grid solution which comprises of three different devices. The Infinite Air 5T which I showed in this video, the brand new Infinite Solar 24 which is one of the most efficient portable solar panels on the market today and the Infinite Orbit, a hand crank which will give you instant backup power. This is perfect for emergencies. Check out the link in the description below and for the record, I do not get any commissions on sales. Let me know your thoughts on this portable off-grid wind turbine if you own it or if you own one of the earlier versions. Or let me know what you're currently using as a power generator when you go camping. Leave a comment below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.